各位专家领导，呃，先生们。Uh, leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, today, I represent uh, HAM uh, Director Hala to make this presentation. Several days ago, he suddenly called me, said that uh, he had some other urgencies and he could make it. And uh, he asked me to help me. Uh, help him. Uh, of course, I will help him. He is my boss. Today, uh, we're going to talk about creating high-level sustainability through city-scale mixed-use projects. This project was done uh, in 2001 and is located in Dongdaming Road uh, in Shanghai. It's uh, East Harbor International Tower. And the height is 120 meters. And uh, we got the first LEED CS Gold Certified High Rise Certificate in Shanghai. And uh, in the building, we adopted some uh, energy saving approaches, including parking, uh, energy saving, and stormwater, uh, rainwater collection, and recycling, and uh, fresh air supply. A geothermal pump, and after we have uh, completed the project, when we just uh, we, we, we when we plan to congratulate it, uh, Mr. Heller said that was this was not enough, and he drew this picture to us. He said that a single high rise, it was just a a part of the system of uh, sustainability, we should also pay attention to livability and mobility. Livability means local users, accessibility of uh, mixed uh, functions, including the office functions, public space function, and also livability also includes natural environment, indoor, outdoor environment, and a social environment, that is diversity of the culture and uh, communication. And mobility refers to transportation orientation, and including comprehensive uh, transportation, different kinds of transportation. And also, it should be oriented towards low carbon transportation, including walkability, <laughs> EV system coordination. So today, we are going to talk about how, through mobility, can we achieve the viability of uh, this city. And uh, this diagram uh, talk about the uh, coordination of different uh, parts, structural engineers, uh, mechanical engineers, daylighting, consultants, energy engineers, materials engineers, code review officials. Everybody should coordinate with each other. And finally, we can reach the balance between owners, users, architects, and sustainability agencies. So this is a uh, project in Beijing. And it consists of uh, seven tall buildings or high rises, uh, a terrible project. <laughs> the site is located uh, in this place. In the south, we have uh, Chaoyang Park. And at this site, uh, first, I think that uh, uh, it should uh, connect with the park, and second, it should uh, connect with transportation or transit system. And uh, the project, originally the area is 30 hectares, and uh, it turned into the high rises complex was turned into 10 hectares to make it more integrated and compact. And from this chart, we can see seven high rises uh, uh, with a high, uh, big podium. And through a terrace, it is connected with uh, Chaoyang Park. And uh, the car drive uh, offers the fire prevention control function. And it is also a cer ceremonial entrance to the building. And uh, it, there is also a connection with the Chaoyang Park, too. And uh, in the end, 
uh, they make the podium into a kind of a mountain a form. And I think the designer may like to climb the mountain. And but in the end, the function is to concentrate, to integrate. And uh, at the uh, lower part, it is the auxiliary function. And the boat area is 10 hectare. But uh, the total construction area is uh, 2.3 million square meters. And uh, the B4B5 are for parking. And uh, the level one is a, super park, a supermarket. And above, uh, there is 700,000 square meters of uh, shopping mall. And uh, the atrium is also big, very big. And uh, in base two, basement two, uh, there is connection to the rail transport and also cargo transportation. And base one, or B1, uh, there is the drop-off area of taxi, drop-off area for buses. And uh, on level one, there is a uh, big terrace with good walkability and uh, it is easily connected with very short distance to the Chaoyang Park. Apart from that, because it is like a mountain, uh, so the indoor space uh, can be uh, really well connected with the outdoor environment and uh, it is uh, connected with the outside through walking and uh, not motor vehicle, uh, it can be connected with outside very easily. And the designer thinks that uh, with this kind of a design, the public space offers really good walkability and good connection. This can maximize the re efficiency of a motor vehicle. And this is the cross-section. This is uh, the floor plans of different levels. And uh, this is the entrance of the terrace. The volume is very, very big. And this is uh, indoor and outdoor uh, area relationship. And you can see the atrium is really big. And every atrium, there is different uh, theme. And uh, the users can enter the atrium, atrium at different levels and indoor. This is another atrium, also the same way of treatment, including the botanical garden and a, uh, a aquarium. And this is the bird view, bird's eye view. And uh, on top, uh, we have a park connecting with Chaoyang Park too. Another project is even bigger. Uh, total area is around uh, one uh, square kilometers. And it is located in Guangzhou. It's an industrial park. And uh, you can see it is by river. And it is the tariff is elevated uh, so that uh, the walking space is connected with the uh, waterfront. And uh, the terrace is a public space. And the neighboring area through this terrace can be connected with the water view, too waterfront view. And this is the floor plan and the bird's eye view. And the bird's eye view, you can see after it is elevated, it made a lot of uh, treatments. And the we have uh, conducted four square kilometers of design for it because the owner had bought all the area. So this is a comparison. The project we mentioned just now, Total used area is around three to four square kilometers, and built area is at seven million square meters. Transportation 
You can see the comparison. Uh, walking transportation is 10 percent, and uh, public transportation 70 percent. And uh, we have conducted some research. This is Beijing's Oriental Plaza. Uh, used the same way of treatment, and uh, to make the walking space elevated as the public space for the city. And this is New York's uh, Manhattan. This is uh, Shanghai's Lu Jiazui Financial Commercial District. So here you can see this is the uh, terrace above. The terrace has a 3.5 meters elevation. And uh, the base one, or B1, is uh, 3.0 meters above. It is the walking system and uh, EV system, non-motor vehicle system. And below here, it is the uh, city's branch roads. And it can cross here. And to connect with the city, the other two, uh, they can also connect with the city. The blue uh, parts, uh, these are the uh, uh, accesses to uh, public uh, transportation, uh, railway transportation, subway transportation. And here we have a station for ferry and also the subway station. Through these uh, stations, the rail transportation and public transportation, different kinds of uh, public transportation are connected. And through the three roads, it is also connected with the cities. And through the drop-off area of uh, and entrance of the underground uh, parking, uh, it is connected with the above ground uh, parking area. So through this kind of uh, different levels, uh, it is organizing different uh, transportation system together. And uh, through mixed use, we reduce the uh, non uh, public transportation use and uh, try to maximize the uh, public uh, transportation and uh, to integrate different kinds of transportation system through this kind of uh, zoning. And through the terrace, we also connect with the public space. So this is the uh, transportation diagram. You can see this is the horizontal line. And so that this area is connecting with the uh, east part and also the west part of uh, Old Village area. This is subway station. This is the uh, terminal for ferry. And uh, through the uh, uh, lower part of the road to cross and through underground, you can also access here. These two areas are connected above ground with not, without interference of uh, transportation. And this is the ferry and the, the site. Uh, so this is what I want to say to you. No matter what, Mr. Helen uh, want to uh, organize the high rises through some low carbon transportation system to make contribution for these to the sustainability of the city to make the city better i don't know whether our city can be so beautiful at least it's a kind of a hope uh, and uh, through this kind of approach uh, he is gaining more business that's for sure